Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I actually already recorded this intro, but I forgot to press record. So, basically what we're doing today, in the last episode, I was using the 270 Stradivarius for a video on Quattro Kalinas where we were using all the engraved weapons. And I was actually pretty impressed with how quickly the 270 was taking down Mouflon, so I've decided we're going to take it to Silver Ridge Peaks and give it a little more use and see how it performs. And what better way to do it than chasing down some mountain lions on Silver Ridge Peaks. And hopefully we can find some other stuff in the process too, but this server just happened to be at mountain lion time. And it's actually a decently low level server. It's level 33 and uh, he's got an interesting tent placement over here. It's on top of a lookout point and I had actually spawned there initially, so... That's where we had started the last intro out, but sadly I didn't record that, so figured I'd at least show that to you guys, and we might even head over there soon also. I did not know that you could put the tents on top of the lookout points, but apparently you can. And there was nothing good at that lake, so this is what I'm talking about. It's a very interesting place to put a tent, and I didn't even know that you could do this, but it appears you just jump on top of this little lookout point sign and... It just lets you get straight up there. Now, it is a little bit difficult to get up there, but I think once you do, you should be able to. I'm actually not sure how he did it now that I actually try it myself. Oh, actually. Oh, I see how it's done. All right, well, we're not going to mess around with that for too much longer. Let's continue hunting. Well, it's just a level 3 and a level 1. There does appear to be another one over here, but... I think just to get an idea of what the 270 can do to a mountain lion, let's go ahead and shoot one of these. I just got to figure out which one of them is actually going to give us the best shot. Actually, that appears to be the best right there. That should be good. And wow, it's actually killing it off pretty quickly. I'm honestly impressed with how the 270 has been doing. And that is a level 7 right there. Oh, oh my. I think we got it, but that other one was pushing it, so that was a little bit risky. But it was just a level 7, so I figured we'd at least try it. Well, here they are. The first one, we got double lung, and it died off pretty quickly, so I think I feel pretty comfortable trying to take a uh, diamond one down. Hello there. That is a mythical, actually. He's not going to give us a shot, though, so we're just going to ignore him and pick up this one right here. 3750 even with hitting the scapula we still got double lung I'm liking what I'm seeing with the 270s performance I really want to test this out on a diamond one now so let's continue looking and see if we can find one I can almost always find a diamond mountain lion within an hour or two on Silver Ridge Peaks just because they are so common so I'm pretty confident we'll at least find one on one of these servers hopefully so it can do well on a mountain lion, but what about on a rocky mountain elk? I think this is going to be a little bit more difficult. So let's see how this is actually able to do on them. I don't think this is going to end well, but we have to try it. And I think the second one we got a spine shot on, so I guess we'll be able to see how both of them do. It's not dying very fast, so... Yeah, it's just now losing it. That's about how the 6.5 does, so not the most efficient, but I think for stuff smaller than an elk, it's not too bad. Well, there's one of them dead, and the other one's about to die also. We definitely hit spine on one of them, because they're dying at a different speed, which is interesting. Here is the first one. I actually don't know which one this is. This is actually, yeah, this is the first one we shot, so... 323 score we did manage to get vertebrae and double lung that explains why it died faster now I'm curious what we did on this guy this I believe was the second one we shot actually actually no this is the first one we shot the other was the second one we shot so single lung does not do very good on them uh, double lung and vertebrae does a little better but not much overall I'd say don't use the 270 on Rocky Mountain Elk if you don't have to it's definitely not that efficient. So this server that we're on is a level 18 and it's currently at pronghorn drink time. Now, there is someone down here at these lakes so we won't be able to go there. But if we can, we'll hit this lake, these two, and then this one over here also. 
and that should give us a good idea of what this map has to offer pronghorn wise now there is our first sight of some we actually have a decent amount of them coming through so let's see if we can spot all these that is actually a really nice one um I kind of want to take that it's really wide which I don't see on them too often let's see if we can drop this guy A very odd pronghorn kind of curious what he's gonna score his estimate did go above diamond rating so there's always that chance that it could make it there is a chance we might have been too high on that shot and I don't think it'll matter too much I doubt this guy will make diamond but he's such a wide pronghorn that I've got a feeling that he'll score higher than what he normally would although I don't even know if spread is factored into their score but I guess we'll find out 8760 man that is a strange one to say the least Wow and yeah it doesn't look like width matters at all it's just the length of the prong circumference base horn length and then the circumference of the first second and third quarter still a cool one though definitely not too bad don't think I've ever seen one quite like this guy well there we go we finally found something cool it's not a buck but that is a piebald mule deer doe so we will see if we can get in a position to take her down there is some more mule deer in the area but I think that is the only notable one. Oh, oh, there's another okay well this is the first good thing I found on the server and we've got two of them pretty much side by side we hunted around over here for those pronghorn and only got that one that looked really wonky and now that it's mule deer time we can finally check things out this is pretty sweet we got one of them now as for the other we're probably gonna have to wait till it gets out into the open but we got the first one down and the second one is right there not too often you find two piebald does in the same area I honestly was gonna continue hunting pronghorn because I wanted to check these lakes down here but as you can see somebody else walked over there and started shooting the ones that I was spotting so I decided to move over here and hunt some mule deer and it looks like it was a good choice I'm kind of glad that that person pushed me out of the zone that I was trying to hunt there she is right there I think we should be able to get her from here provided she doesn't go back that way and she did of course well might take a little bit longer than I thought it would but we should be able to get another angle eventually there we go let's get her to stop if we can should be good right here and I think that was a hard shot that went a lot better than I thought it would now just to find the other one I don't know where she ran off to I was too focused on spotting the second one. Oh, there she is we found the other one so let's go ahead and grab the one that we just heart shot and then we'll run down and grab the first one that we shot I don't think I've ever seen two piebald does side by side pretty much that was pretty cool to see and that was a perfect heart shot Wow that's actually pretty awesome so let's go ahead and tax her then we will go down and claim this one I'm honestly kind of excited to see what else is on this map when it comes to mule deer if this is what we found at only the second mule deer lake that I checked then I hope that there's a diamond somewhere too that is piebald number two go ahead and tax her also and let's go ahead and move on and try to find some more good mule deer oh my gosh there we go finally a level 9 mountain lion I knew one of these guys would eventually come through clutch and there it is we also have a level 7 behind it and a few more over in this direction it sounds like but that level 9 is the one that we're interested in and let's see if we can spot this one too as it's running away I don't know if we can yeah that other one doesn't want to show itself anymore but we have this level 9 that we need to take down and it's actually coming towards us so hopefully this won't be too difficult we actually do have some mountain goats coming in front of us and I don't think there's anything good in these so let's just keep our focus on this guy he's gonna be within range very very shortly and in fact he just went alert I think we should be able to make this shot it's a little dark but 
I think we can make do with this. We just need him to go broadside again. That will do the trick right there. Let's hope this thing ends up being a diamond. I mean, either way, it's still a legendary, but it would be really nice if it made diamond. I had just switched to this server and saw that it had, oh, actually, the host left. Uh, well, <laughs> it was a level 13 host, and he had the time at Mountain Lion time, as you guys can see. So I figured we would find, hopefully, something good with a server being this low of a level. And sure enough, we did level 9 dark red fur type mountain lion so let's go ahead and claim this guy and hope that he's a diamond he is a diamond at 3950 that's a pretty good one at least we did not go home empty-handed I've been recording for an hour and six minutes at this point and this is the first diamond we've seen we got those two piebald uh, mule deer but I hadn't seen any diamonds or diamond potential animals so it's nice we finally got one and honestly the 270 does the trick pretty good on these things I'm impressed with it it holds its own against these big cats so that is another awesome trophy for the lodge probably gonna go in one of the secondary lodges like most of them do but we've had a few decent kills this video and I think we're gonna keep looking around at maybe one or two more spots around here at mountain lion time and hope that maybe there'll be something else if not, then we'll probably jump into the lodge after that. Ooh, there we go. That is something pretty awesome. So since I had got host of the server, I decided to change it to pronghorn time. And that right there is a leucistic female. So definitely want to take her out. I don't think I've killed a leucistic female before. I've killed a couple males, but no females. So... We'll get a little bit closer and see if we can get a shot sunk into her. Now, there was a ton of hunting pressure down at this end, so I honestly did not expect to find much here. But it looks like he did his hunting during that later hours where we were hunting those mountain lions, so I doubt he's even seen his pronghorn herds yet. At level 13, you never know what you're going to find on those servers, so I honestly might stick around for a little longer than I initially intended to because... We already found that level 9 mountain lion and now we've got a leucistic pronghorn in an area that had hunting pressure so I'd say there's a good bet there might be even more on this server too. There we go. Should be a good shot. Don't think there was any big pronghorn so we should be okay. I don't think there's anything else worthwhile here. Man that is such a cool find. I never get tired of taking these guys down, both the albinos and the leucistic, they're super cool. And this is the first female one we've ever shot, so we definitely are going to tax it. Let's go ahead and claim her. 38 scoring leucistic, doesn't even make silver because it is just a female, but that's still really cool. Still super cool. Now, one thing that I've always complained about with the leucistic pronghorn is they don't look like the real life ones. The real life leucistic pronghorn actually still have some of the orange on their back. And then like the bottom half of their body is completely white and kind of like on their butt and shoulders. And then there's the patch of uh, orange still kind of in the middle of the back. They look really cool. Um, I would highly recommend looking it up if you guys haven't. Just search up leucistic pronghorn and you should find a couple images of one and it looks really cool I wish they would have done them like that but instead they did this grayish color which I mean it's still cool it's just not as realistic but really awesome that we found one well once again we didn't really get anything for the main lodge but we did get a few cool trophies and we're gonna go ahead and put our leucistic pronghorn right here on the wall Along with a few of the other pronghorn that just weren't quite good enough to make it into the main lodge and actually not even sure why we have this guy here. Oh, I see why because this was the biggest dark fur type I had killed back when I was really searching for one and this guy was just a very wonky one. But she's just going to chill right there and as for the mountain lion, I don't actually know. I think we're just going to put him probably right here for now. But that is cool that we were able to find a pretty decent sized mountain lion diamond. I would love to find another max score one. It's been a long time since I found the last. In fact, the last time I found a max scoring mountain lion was the release of Silver Ridge Peaks. So it's been a very long time and 
It was a common fur type, so I'd love to get a dark red one eventually. That's one of the goals I'm hoping to achieve from this uh, mountain lion grind that we've been doing recently. But anyway, guys, that's all we're going to look at here in the lodge. The mule deer does aren't really anything special, so I'm not going to take a look at those. But I appreciate everybody watching the video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click like, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with a video suggestion or an idea for one of the series that we already do. Or just anything that you'd like to tell me, and I try to respond to as many of them as I can, so there's a high chance that I'll reply to your comment. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!